good afternoon or good morning and welcome for a rather sunny Los Angeles which is looking very nice out there. I'll tell you a bit more about why I'm in Los Angeles in a moment but first of all let me give you a little rundown on things that are happening in our in our Karmaverse. It's been a while since we spoke, it's now 2024. Terrific how quickly time goes by and I'm sure you all agree. Uh, last year was a great year for us. Um, we recently were in Singapore looking at our performance and our various matrix last year and I'm proud to say that it was our 30th anniversary and we kind of celebrated it by having the best year ever in the history of our company and obviously we view that in many different ways but uh, to me one of the most proud ways to do it is the number of new members and there were almost 10,000 new Karma members last year from all over the world and it, it really is I think a testament to our products and it's a testament to to our members who have this tremendous loyalty and continue to enjoy experiences with us year after year and also to all my colleagues and members of staff so that that was a great way to mark our 30th year so thank you thank you everyone and of course we don't rest on our laurels we've started off this year very much with a, a bang we have a, a brand new resort which you may have heard of which is called Karma Lakewood which is in Marbleshwa. Marbleshwa is a beautiful hill station. Um, I say just outside, I mean it's two or three hours outside Pune and Mumbai. It's situated on some lakes there and it's very famous for the flora and the fauna and the bird life and the, the natural beauty of it. And it is a hill station and so it has a very good climate. So whether you are an Indian and um, looking forward to going there or one of our many international clients that is really taking the opportunity to explore the magnificent continent of India. That'll be open in the next few weeks or the next month or so. We're just putting the finishing touches, but it's uh, it's now part of our stable. Uh, I'm looking forward to telling you about some resorts in totally different parts of the world and some products that we are going to be putting together, but I'll keep my, my mouth zipped at the moment so I don't blow things away, but expect in the next few weeks to hear some really exciting news about how we are expanding pretty rapidly, I think. Um, one one development I like, which really came from, from members, really. I was up in Thailand a couple of days ago at our resort, and I was looking at a location we found where we are going to start an Indian restaurant. We believe that uh, in all of our destinations, they're very poorly served by Indian restaurants, and so we are going to open a chain of restaurants. We're going to be calling it Kundan's. Kundan is our head chef in Goa, for those that know him, and he is an amazingly good chef. So we're going to be putting Indian restaurants either in our resorts or in close proximity to our resorts for the enjoyment of our members or anyone that likes a good curry and a papadam. And who doesn't like a good curry <laughs> and a papadam? So expect to see a kundans coming somewhere near you uh, quite soon. I was actually in Hong Kong after that. I'm on a around the world trip at the moment. And we are looking very seriously now at China. I think that the time has come that we'd like to look at some properties there and doing some marketing in China. So again, expect to see some activity then. I hadn't been to Hong Kong, to be candid, since COVID, and I was amazed how vibrant it was and exciting and um, how much opportunity that there was actually there. So I then flicked across the, the Pacific and came here to, to Los Angeles. Uh, two reasons. We, we have a very good architectural practice here that do a lot of our resorts. And as you know, we have quite a few projects that we're about to start. And so we are going to be looking at plans of how to design them. But, but also, very excitingly, as you may know, a few months ago, I announced that we did a, a class, a course with the students from UCLA, the University College of Los Angeles, for them to look at our, our Carcassonne Chateau and to come back with some design ideas and solutions. That course is now finished and I was very proud and privileged to meet them all last night and to go through their final results. And we are going to be leaving it to you, our members and our uh, members of staff, to vote for what you think is the most interesting design. It, it's not necessarily the design we would exactly do, because some of them are a bit fantastical in their layout, um, like all students like to be very creative. But we'll be posting them online, and we'd like to invite you to vote for what you think is the most exciting one. And the winner will get a free holiday at any Karma resort for themselves and their and their partner anywhere in the world. So that's going to be, uh, I think, quite fun. And I think there's some great ideas that they came up with. Uh, also, you may have seen that Vietnam, our second resort, is now fully open. We opened it with the normal dancing dragons and the uh, exotic stuff that goes with all openings in Vietnam. So that gives us two resorts there. 
and I'm hoping quite a few more to come in the near future. I, I like all of our areas, of course, but I, I do like Vietnam. I think the food is fantastic. The people are tremendously friendly and there's great opportunity. Another area which we are launching, which I think is, is quite new, but I think will be very popular, is doing associations, mutual associations, with other clubs around the world. You, you may have seen that we tied up in London with a club called Home House. Uh, we have another club called the Vault House in, in Sydney. And we believe there's a lot of clubs, whether they be social clubs, uh, golf clubs, whether they be sailing clubs, um, sporting clubs of some sort around the world that we would like to work with so that our members can get usage of their facilities and their members can come and stay with us at our resorts. It gives us the chance to give you, the members, many advantages in towns and cities where we aren't. And so I think that gives a big spread of opportunity. It also gives us a chance to test various areas and it gives us a chance to be able to work with other member bases that may be in similar or different spheres. So it, it may mean as simple when you holiday, there's a golf course where you get free um, green time. It may be when you go to London, there's clubs you can go to and, and have a drink and socialise. It may be various benefits, but expect to see quite a few. I've tasked my people to get us 50 clubs, so <laughs> you may say that's tyrannical, but I thought we'd start off with that and see how we go. The other area where we are going to be expanding quite a lot this year is with our Karma Curated experiences, our Karma Curated events. They proved very popular last year and we're going to roll out many, many more. Uh, we are going to try and advertise them a lot longer in advance because there was a fair criticism that some of them are a bit last minute. So our plan now is to build the calendar for the year. So it may be an event where you can go to the Olympics in the company of some athletes and enjoy the Olympic events. It may be the Oktoberfest. It may be uh, an event in Perth or in, in Sydney. It may be going to Holly Festival in India. There's a whole raft of them. So if you any of them take your fancy, I, I, I encourage you to apply ASAP because they do tend to sell out quite quickly. But by doing an advance, and with some of them, we can add on second or third or alternative ones. So I do think that's uh, an interesting area. In Kandara, as you may know, our new block of suites, 35 suites, I think, I forget the exact number, fully open, fully operational, uh, very, very popular. They've been done to a very high standard, and we now start to break ground on the land behind, where, as you know, we have more suites, we have more villas, uh, we have another swimming pool and restaurants going in. So there will be uh, more things happening at that back part of Kandara. Those of you who have been to Kandara recently may have noticed the Temple Lounge is now redone and is a much more uh, operational restaurant. And on the beach at the Beach Club, we're also enlarging the restaurant space down there. The, I know some people of you are frustrated about the Travelator. Uh, I share your frustration, but we really do believe we've solved it now and we've engaged with a construction company who have the necessary licenses from the government and we anticipate that being up and running very soon, hopefully in a, in a couple of months. I certainly will welcome that with a bottle of champagne when that happens. Elsewhere in Bali, the land that we call the Stiff Chile, we're gonna be developing as a real estate project. It'll be a real estate project geared at the younger generation, possibly digital nomads, people working on the road or people taking extended surfing holidays or whatever. So again, expect to see some things happening with that. And our land out at Chandi Dasa, I'm talking literally in half an hour with our architects here about drawing up plans so we can commence our new Chandi Dasa resort. And the other project that I'm talking to our architects in a moment about is going to be our project in the Philippines, which I'm very, very positive on. I think Palawan is a beautiful island. A lot of very positive things are happening down there. The economy is getting stronger. The political situation is pretty stable. So I'm looking forward to that. And the third thing I'll be talking to them about, which I know many of you will be very happy to hear, is the Margaret Riverland. We are close to getting the fire risk assessments in and the pre-approvals and all the bits of paper that we have to have. And so we're now at the stage of doing some plans, which I will share with you as we go along. In Europe, um, Karma Bavaria, uh, we started the last units. That will now be, over the next few months, totally done, all upgraded to that incredibly high specification that a lot of you know and like, and we have as our, our fractional units. And the same in Borgo de Colioli. Uh, we're going in there this year. 
We have an amazing furniture design that uh, Tina has put together. So expect to see the magnificent canvas on the outside get even better with a beautiful package on the inside. And we are going to be redoing the restaurant, the, the, the Enoteca, and putting some common areas in like a spa, like a kids club, a TV screening room, uh, a gym, and, and, and what have you. So that'll also be happening very much over the coming few weeks and months. In Goa, uh, as you know, Hattie Mahal has almost now been con upgraded totally. We, we have a run of things still to do there, but work is in motion on that, and it won't be long till that's finished. And we now turn our attention to Ben Alim, where we're also going to be totally renovating, upgrading, changing all of the units and the restaurant and the bar into that same very high five-star level. So again, I'm excited to see that. I go there in two weeks to meet with our builders and our interior designers, and I'm looking forward to creating a fantastic product there in Goa. So we also haven't forgotten philanthropy. As you know, it's very dear to our heart, and we have a number of things that we are working with. And we have quite an interesting new one, which I think I think you'll like. For those of you that are rugby fans, and you know I'm quite a rugby fan, there was a very famous Scottish rugby player called Doddy Wire, and he unfortunately died of motor neuro syndrome, uh, which was caused by a, a concussion playing rugby. And there has been a, a big charity started called We Are Doddy, which raises money each year for this this tragic illness and tries to find cures for it and help and every year a bunch of scottish internationals deliver the ball uh, at the center of a big rugby a rugby match and so we're very proud to sponsor it this year uh, we are going to number one sponsoring the event there are teams from all over the world taking place the simple 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 rules of the game are that one has to turn up on a bicycle at five o'clock in Rome the day before the Scotland v Italy rugby match. It'll probably be more than one beer, knowing it's a lot of Scots and a lot of um, Italians, and it'll probably last the whole weekend. So that's what we're doing, and we're issuing you a little bit of a challenge, because we want to see if we can get from Perth to Rome. Not Perth in Scotland, which those other people are doing, but Perth in Australia. So you'll see all the information in the Karma community, but essentially we'd like you all to try and chip in by walking rather than taking the bus to go to the shops. We'd like you to try and do a bit more time on the treadmill, or we'd like you to uh, cycle a bike a bit. Whatever, whatever exercise you want to do, our, our 80,000 members and our many members of staff, we're going to show that you can just contact us, say, I did two miles today, or I did five miles today, or whatever it is, and we hope that we can somehow get from Perth, Australia, to Rome. For the last leg from Borgo to Collioli, we are actually going to cycle bikes. If any of you wish to join us, it'll be non-competitive, it'll be more wine tasting on the way, we'll probably do it over a couple of days, but we intend to turn up in Rome the night before, on the 5th, for that beer. I mean, being neither Scottish or Italian, I don't know really who I'll be supporting on that one, but I guess, uh, I guess I'll support Scotland or the winning team, whichever one that is going to be. Anyway, I think it's a bit of fun, and hopefully we can raise some good money for what is a very, 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 very worthwhile charity. Okay, I shall sign off. I must go down and do some work and look at designing some new resorts. I should toast you, of course. I'm here in California, so it kind of feels right to do it with a beer. This is a Santa Monica, Santa Monica Brew Works, which is uh, obviously Santa Monica just down the road from where I am, which is in Beverly Hills, which is next to uh, UCLA. I think if we are going to do a curry restaurant, then obviously the best thing that goes with Poppadums is going to be a beer. So there's a loose link there between being here, close to Santa Monica, and us opening up a chain of curry restaurants. Good to be back. I intend to do quite a lot more communication with you this year, whether it be like in this, whether it be face to face, whether it be emails. I'm very excited about what we've got ahead of us. I think uh, the future is great and I think it's going to be a very, very, very good year. So thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the loyalty. Thank you for all the things, whether it be members or members of staff or colleagues or allies. Cheers. Here's to Scotland. Or whoever wins.